good place to go. Okay. Let's figure out how we can whip through. How am I starting? Starting from back bird, right? Uh, we'll lean back. So have you seen this whip before we've done from here to straddle? Mm -hmm. And from, from straddle you go through here, right? To reverse bird, right? Yeah. We've done that one already. We're gonna try to do a whip the other way from thrown whipping back to bird. Okay, so we're gonna do a thrown. I'm gonna grab our feet here. Foot placement's key here, and I'll show you the set. It's gonna be not towards the thigh, but way, 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 way low in her butt. Okay, I see. So and then ends up. she's gonna slowly come over, straddle, cross her arms, okay. and all the way up to bird here. Okay. And when you whip it, it goes really fast, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's break down how that can go bad really fast, right? So I have seen uh, or heard of, I haven't actually seen this, but I've heard someone whipping from here, coming back and falling, not on their head, because usually when you're feeling a fall, you naturally um, brace yourself with your arms. Mm -hmm. So you can hurt a wrist really bad or a shoulder because you're turning it right into it really fast. Um, so as you're whipping backwards this way, the common thing is if the flyer doesn't pike enough, they mm -hmm. just kind of come straight down because there's no shelf with the feet, the base yeah. of feet, right? If they just come down without that deep pike here, the feet will come right off and she's going to land down this way, right? right? So it's really important that if your flyer there pikes really deep so that the feet have a shelf that comes through, right? And notice how Lori, she crossed her arms to get through. Even if she forgets to do that, which sometimes a new flyer might, if she pikes, that's yeah. what's going to keep her safe. So that's the first and foremost thing is to keep, get that pike deep, okay? So we'll hop back into the throne again. Two, one. So let's look at the foot placement here. So you're in throne or your feet are normally underneath the legs there. If, um, Sam, I want you base cam over here. I think the, the feet placement is really important for this one because it's, it's very specific. So I'm going to grab her feet. Start walking down towards like the upper part of her tush, like way back this way, okay? She's gonna yeah. lean back. You still have her feet, so she can't fall backwards. Yeah. You're still leveraging this way. You just need to be mindful that your legs don't go over there, yeah. right? Yeah. Especially because you have her feet here, right? So your feet are on her butt, but watch the toes here. They're gonna turn in, and the, the toes go right towards the upper part of the tush. So, very key part. Go ahead and lean back again, Laura. Um, you're not gonna, it's not here in the bottom part, it's the upper part of the touch right there. Okay. And it's like way at the corner. The deeper you go in the corner, the better, because later you'll see how the feet go back into the board. So not even here, but out like that, okay? So I'm here, my toes start to turn out. So they're right at the edge of a touch on the top part there, right? Mm -hmm. That's key. Now she's gonna come over and pike. See, as she pikes, my feet are ready to slip out right into here. But if they're way over here, there's nothing for her to be on, so you have to go really far out, right? Okay. So that's a key thing. Once she's here, she'll naturally come through because she's piking, and then you can help her by using your arms to push her up, and your feet can come back to bird. And the more you do that, the more of the, the muscles in the feet will build, and then you'll figure out how to flip her back. Gas, 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 flip her back to bird. Okay. That's great, okay? Are our pants too slippery for you? No, they're good. Are they good? They look like they're okay. just the right amount of grip. Okay, I was just making sure because I was like, I can take them off. <laughs> yeah, let's do it one more time. Okay, you grab the feet. And then we'll walk them back. She's leaning back. Get your feet in place right there at the edge. There, okay? From here, as she comes to pikes, they'll, they'll slip down that way. Keep them hooked. Now, here's the part where you have to bend the knees out. She can fit through, which is hard. And keeping the feet there is more challenging. From there, you can use your hands to guide her up. Put the feet in, and she's gonna chest, she's gonna pull her shoulders back, push her chest forward in a nice big bird, and just accentuate that nice big transition back to bird. And your toes go. Okay. So to, uh, Warm up for that. The flyer can do that on the ground first because you have to be really clear about what point B is to get back into bird. I'm like, where am I going? I'm going from throne. I'm going to come back. I'm going to pike. So, Lori, we had to practice just doing this a lot because that's very important, right? Yeah. There's a bunch of strata pikes really strong down this way and getting clear about point B being over here. Okay, let's 
ਕਿਵੇਂ ਚਾਹ